silver or gold in 2022? Hi and welcome to Cash and Coins. Today I will discuss what is the better buy, gold or silver? What will I buy in 2022? Now I have checked several articles and I looked at the charts as I always do and the forecast was pretty interesting. Some things I expected and you probably expected it too but some things were kind of surprising. Also, look back at 2021. All right, let's get into it. Hello, and thank you for joining me here at Cash and Coins. Today, we're going to go over what is the best buy, well, at least for right now, going into 2022. Now, I really don't forecast prices. You know, I leave that to the financial gurus. Because, you know, you never know what's going to happen. Look at what happened with the virus this year and the shortage supplies and all that. So you never know. But it's good. It's fun to speculate. First, let's look at the charts. Now, I am going back a full year so we can see everything that happened this year. Here we see the high. Well, first we're going to do silver. So here we see the high for silver. It was about $28.49 and look at the low, $21.57 and that brought us to an average of about $25. Yeah, pretty good spread there. Now let's go on to gold. The high for gold was $1,950.40 and the low was $1,684.71. And the average price of gold was about $1,817.55, which is about where we're at today. Now, to finish off, let's move on to the next chart. Let's look at the gold and silver ratio, which is at 78.84% right now. That means silver is a buy. Now, that is if you play the gold and silver ratio, you know, trade silver for gold and vice versa. And today is currently the 29th of December, 2021. Silver is at $22.93 and gold is at $1,810.95. As you know, the spot prices move second to second. So, you know, it's going to be different when you watch this. Now, as far as the outlook for 2022, Anna Golubova of Kitco had this interesting article. Silver price in 2022. Here's how silver can outperform gold as it plays catch up next year. Following a correction in 2021, the technical outlooks promising for silver as investors see it as a bargain buy relative to gold. The gold and silver ratio now is a lot healthier. It's basically at 80 to 1. It's nowhere near the extreme that we saw in March 2020. Anytime the ratio has been 80 to 1, silver began to look relatively cheap. Elicio said, if you go all the way back to the middle of the 1970s, there's only been a couple of times where silver has been cheaper relative to gold than the roughly 80 to 1 ratio. And then it went on to say, silver's catch up story. After a year of underperformance, investors could turn their attention back to silver next year. There's certainly that catch-up story built in there. It has underperformed gold to date. And you'll find some switching by investors into the silver markets as a consequence of that, said ANZ senior commodity strategist Daniel Haynes. The silver to gold ratio also points to silver's potential outperformance, noted Elicio. The very fact that the gold silver ratio is at roughly 80 to 1, that alone suggests that if gold is going to rise, silver at the very least is going to come along for the ride and could quite likely outperform gold. So we have in place right now an 80 to 1 gold to silver ratio. We have silver at a low. There is an old saying, and you know I love old sayings. It's that it's always darkest before the dawn. So is this the darkest for silver? Is it time for dawn to break? Is 2022 the year for this? We have had supply issues and bottlenecking of freight, 
so silver could not be used in industry as it usually would. But because of this, it looks like 2022 is going to be very different now that they're starting to get things moving and under control again. Now, I did find this other interesting article in Seeking Alpha, Gold and Silver Prospects for 2022. It said, I love this statement here. We look at silver, which is set to become the star performer against fiat currencies. And it also said, silver appears to be badly mispriced. It went on to say, anecdotal evidence is that order books for silver from the refiners currently run into the middle of 2022 with large industrial consumers scrambling to secure supplies. Any surge in monetary demand is therefore set to have disproportionate effect on silver prices to the upside. Now what's this saying? In a nutshell, what is the outlook for gold and silver in 22? As you know, I am not a financial advisor. But from what I have read, so many factors are pointing to a rise in silver and gold markets in 2022. And let's not forget the Basel 3. It was supposed to start in January, but I think they've postponed it to January 2023. So it was delayed by a year. Now, I know they've carved a few holes out of the Basel 3, yet many banks will be required to build up their gold reserves. And as you saw in my previous videos, many countries are building it up. Gold, after all, is a tier one asset. So, as promised, what am I doing? Well, I am a long-term investor in the precious metals. Well, I'm a long-term investor, period. Now, I'm not doing a short play with my gold or my silver. I am committing myself to purchase gold and silver every month in 2022. Some of you will see my challenge videos that I'm going to do with Austrian Stacker. Now, with that said, I have accumulated in the past three years about $40,000 in gold and silver because this is part of my retirement. Now, if you want to know how I did that, uh, just leave me a comment down below. And if I get enough requests, I'll do a video on, on how I, I accumulated $40,000 in silver and gold over the past three years. Now, what are you going to do with silver and gold? Are you more heavy on gold in 2022 or are you more heavy on silver? Or is it pretty much 50-50? How is 2022 going to look for you as far as gold and silver? All right, well, I wanted to keep this video sweet and short. I do want to thank you for watching Cash and Coins. Please like, share, and subscribe. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you on the next video.